Virgo, welcome to your just-in-time tarot reading. Now, if you're watching this, Virgo, trust that there is a message here for you, whether you're a regular viewer or this has popped up into your feed and you've gone, you know what, I feel called to click on that. Trust that there is something here for you to learn. Let's start with a couple of Oracle cards. Okay, Virgo, the message is clear. Have faith in your dreams. Were you losing faith and hope? Were you about to give up on something? This is a keep going, but remember... You have to believe in your dream for the universe to join you in helping to line that up for you, okay? I think belief is the most important thing because if you don't believe it's possible for you, then how is it actually going to happen? How will you call it in? How will you take the right actions? Okay, Virgo. I have got the Oracle of the Angels, receptivity. Okay, well, then you're about to receive and you might be receiving some kind of uh, insight, download, inspiration or idea that gets you over the line, that gets things moving, that has you take a quantum leap forward. So be mindful of, you know, what pops into your mind or the synchronicities that you have because you're being told that there is some kind of higher knowledge coming to you. All right, let's go into the full tarot deck. Danielle Knowles' Moonchild Tarot here is what I'm using, and I pulled for you The Hanged Man. Because at the time of this reading here, Virgo, things are on pause for you, or you're feeling really stuck. Maybe you've already invested a lot of time and energy uh, into this path, but here you find yourself suspended and questioning, well, you know, if this was meant to be like I'm feeling it is, then why is it not happening? And we start to question the whole thing. But the thing about that the hanged man is often it just takes some insight and aha moment and epiphany that you receive that is the very thing that releases the lever and keeps you moving. Sometimes with the hanged man, you might need to be more flexible, adaptable, and maybe let go of, you know, an idea that maybe you were, you know, very hard headed on and, you know, maybe there is a shift there that needs to happen. So sometimes we do need to pivot, we need to sidestep. I'm feeling this is you know, quite sort of work careers -y money. We will see what comes through with the five of wands. Yeah, perhaps you're on an entrepreneurial journey and the five of wands is for me a bit of a five-year struggle. But we all know that it usually takes at least three to five years to see the fruits of your labors. And that's statistically, you know, what, what, it, what it takes, right? But we can lose hope, we can lose faith, and we can feel really stuck in that process. Okay, so that's kind of what I'm getting. Maybe you're just feeling conflicted about the whole thing. But look what's here. Wow, and I see that there as well. The sun. The sun energy is what helps you overcome the blocks, obstacles, and challenges. And it can illuminate, you know, where that block is. And that's kind of what I was feeling with the maybe you need to do things just a little bit different, differently. But at the time uh, of this reading, maybe, you know, you weren't looking at that. So, you know, be open to the insight that you get. Now, the Leo energy of the sun, Virgo, it, it really um, is about having the strength, courage, and bravery to keep following the call of the heart which is the dream here, and you're being asked to keep having faith in it, to keep going, okay? So a, a big struggle period. Maybe you're about to move over the threshold of just the work with no gains and finally getting some payment, like finally making money, finally getting a profit. That's sort of the energy that I'm feeling. The devil is here, and maybe you have incurred, you know, debt in this process, or, you know, you're thinking, well, have I just built a prison for myself? I'm feeling so trapped here and so stuck. Remember with the devil here that we do, again, need to be able to be flexible and adaptable with our ideas and our thinking and not getting locked into stubbornness or doing things in a certain way. That's what I'm feeling, okay? This is about being open, being receptive to the ideas, the insight, the input, maybe of others as well. So I'm feeling like you might be being a bit like insular at the moment and needing to pull down some of these walls, right? Talk to your peers, talk to your network. Yeah, nine of wands. You are feeling like a bit of a wounded warrior here, but that struggle can end. You're very, very close to it coming into fruition. Like, the Nine of Wands is just one action 
away from the Ten of Wands where we get to take a sigh of relief, you know, where the hard work starts paying off. So you're so close. You are so close. You just need to keep going. I'm getting that before cancer season. Okay, so, you know, around about that sort of June, July. I know that we are in April at the moment, but that's when we see you flourishing. Okay, so over the next couple of months is really going to be the critical uh, time for you. Now, I also want to say that the Queen of Cups could stand for somebody that plants that seed. You know, have you tried this? Have you thought about that? I feel like it's going to come through something subtle like that. Now, the Queen of Cups could be a mother, mother-in-law, um, aunt, friend, somebody who's really compassionate, really heartfelt, or somebody that you, you know, always say, well, they, they're really intuitive. You know, they're really good to talk to. I feel that someone like that has an idea for you that if you pursue Seven of Wands, you can cross the threshold and overcome some of these blocks and challenges. I can feel that your energy is starting to wane and that's why we need to embrace the shift because after all, with the star, you started this thing anyway because you thought this was your destiny and you are being told that. But this is the ultimate self-development journey that you're on and stars are aligning, but there's just a few little lessons to overcome first. There's a rebirth here, reinvention, reinvigoration of what you're working on, but it's going to require you to be receptive to the ideas and inputs either of other, others or something different than the path that you've been on and one of those little different things is that point of release so that you can come out of hanged man and start getting the beautiful results that you are hoping for. I love this reading Virgo I'm going to leave it there if you would like to explore this further with a personal reading the first link down below will pop you over to my website and you can check out what's uh, on offer there uh, there are other useful links down below including to my social media accounts my Instagram and TikTok where I post daily content and inspiration and there's also the link to my immersive online tarot course should you want to learn tarot for yourself um, I teach a full foundation in tarot as well as my uh, signature professional reading process. So that is down there for you. I just want to wish you all the love and magic. Do take care, Virgo. Bye for now.